The one thing that I see that is a huge epidemic is mouth breathing. Mouth breathing is the black hole of oral health. Crooked teeth are a sign of poor development of the jaws. Today, seven out of 10 children have crooked teeth. Yet before the Industrial Revolution, this number was as low as one out of 20. The human jaw has been shrinking for hundreds of years. That's the cause of many of the problems that kids go to see orthodontists about. Uh, that's the cause of sleep apnea and so on. Uh, it's a brand new thing since industrialization. Uh, the famous human paleontologist Richard Klein has stated that he's never seen a hunter-gatherer skull with a shrunken jaw or crooked teeth. Modern industrialized societies are plagued by small jaws and crowded ill-aligned teeth or malocclusion. Simply put, a bad bite. This has become a hidden epidemic that has gone virtually unrecognized. Teeth are not supposed to be crooked, so that's a sign of disease or that a problem is going to come later. Now I know that it's not the crowding that is a problem, it's the jaws are not growing. The cause of this, uh, according to many people, is genetics, a bad mixture of genes from mama and papa or uh, a general pattern of the change in the genetic background of our jaws. Uh, but we know that that's not possible as uh, the world's famous geneticist Mark Feldman points out, there's not been time or the selection pressures to allow for shrinkage of human jaws. It's got to be essentially environmentally caused. Forward Onyx is very uh, focused on looking at the environment that has caused the problems. And by, by looking at the environment, we mean how the patients, the little kids were raised, what foods they eat, and how they breathe. Because patients that breathe through their mouth, their jaws don't develop properly. A kid that grows properly, a face that develops completely the way it's supposed to, should be able to fit 32 teeth. That includes all the wisdom teeth. Mouth breathing, or just hanging the mouth open at rest, eating mostly soft foods that require little chewing, sleeping restlessly and snoring, could lead to distorted development of the jaws, face, and airway. Results can include long, narrow faces and mouths, less defined cheekbones, relatively small lower jaws, weak chins, gummy smiles, and of course, crooked teeth. And we call that, you know, growing from cute to ugly. And the effects of poor growth are evident later in life. They're not evident when you're a baby, they're not evident when you're a toddler, they're not evident when you're a young child. But once you start getting into puberty, that's when this, this poor growth is not occurring and it's evident. And sometimes and in the teenage years, it's, it's too late to do something. Normal, healthy breathing is quiet and occurs through the nose with the mouth fully closed. When we mouth breathe, we have all kinds of issues that happen in the mouth. We are more susceptible to decay, the mouth dries up, gum disease, and we're starting to learn from the medical literature that there's a lot of disease that starts with all these symptoms or signs we can observe in the mouth. Consideramos la nariz como un órgano fundamental que pues merece más atención de la que está recibiendo actualmente. Que el 95% del aire inspirado durante el sueño debe pasar sin esfuerzo por la nariz y la nariz también tiene esta función de enriquecer a través de la emanación de óxido nítrico a partir de los senos maxilares la cual tiene ca capacidades increíbles como esta activación antimicrobiana. Se habla de un 49 veces más la producción de óxido nítrico en el cerebro y la que el resto en el cuerpo. Forwardonics is really the key to everything. Airway is a buzzword right now. Everybody's talking about airway, snoring, sleep apnea, all these problems that are a modern epidemic today. When you teach children, young adults, to breathe with their mouth closed, you are going to do prevention. Forwardontics is a new evidence-based approach of early intervention treatment that creates straighter teeth, beautiful faces, and better airways by focusing on the entire facial structure, oral posture, and breathing function on children ages three to preteens. Sedentarism 
and the ever-increasing screen time are taking a huge toll on our health. We are becoming a bad posture society, and these bad posture habits are not conducive to healthy airways. The posture is just how you hold yourself at rest. And this is what Forward Onyx is based on. The most important pillar of Forward Onyx has to do with the posture, because posture is what we do when we're not doing anything. And it's very important to be doing nothing in order to grow and develop. Kids that are always doing something that are jumpy, they're jumpy at night too. So they're not resting properly, so the cells are not focused on growing because they're always interrupted with movement. With proper attention to our children's diets, eating habits, breathing patterns, and what we call oral posture, how they hold their jaws when not eating or speaking, many aspects of the epidemic could be ameliorated or avoided entirely. Dr. John Mew came up with what he called the tropic premise, or correct oral posture, for the ideal development of the jaw and teeth. This means the tongue resting on the palate, the lip seals, and the teeth in light contact for four to eight hours a day. And four to eight hours a day means during sleep. So if we get children to sleep in this posture, the cells will be relaxed enough so that their only job is to grow properly. Developing nasal only breathing teaches your brain that you need to rest with your mouth closed. If the kids learn to hold their teeth together in light contact and they're breathing through their nose and they're keeping the tongue in the roof of the mouth, then the growth will be forward and upward, which is conducive to developing jaws that will fit, uh, grow enough to fit all the teeth. Science has shown that growth hormone is secreted most efficiently between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. We all know that we need to sleep to be refreshed and reach our peak potential in mind and body. So we have an exercise program that helps children focus on their breathing and learn to breathe exclusively through the nose. GOPEX, or Good Oral Posture Exercises, is a set of simple exercises developed by Dr. Simon Wong, a pioneer in finding solutions to oral facial problems. GOPEX is designed to develop correct oral posture and to achieve balanced growth of the face, jaws, and teeth. The cornerstone of GOPEX exercises are resting with your mouth fully closed, nose only breathing at rest, chewing like you mean it, swallowing with your teeth together. With just 10 to 15 minutes of exercises as part of a daily routine, we've been able to change behavior and produce amazing results. GOPEX is a program that, through very simple activities, rewires the brain by creating new habits in children. GOPEX is comprised of two exercises, counting for the little ones and reading for the older ones, teaches to slow down and use punctuation to make pauses and breathe through the nose exclusively. Chewing hard, consistent foods with strength, like you mean it, followed by a long pause and swallow with teeth together without making faces or squeezing the lips, teaches to swallow properly. We know a lot about the chemical composition of the food, we know which nutrients are better than others, but we don't know about the del delivery of the food. Bad habits often develop when the child is first weaned. When weaning is done properly, by introducing hard foods before puris, babies start developing the correct muscle tone. In older kids, encouraging hard chewing helps build the muscle tone to be able to hold the mouth fully closed at rest. Most importantly, practicing a pause with teeth together and relaxed facial muscles, followed by the invisible swallow, will train them to finish the swallow with a slight negative pressure that will keep the tongue plastered to the roof of the mouth effortlessly. So having food that is natural, that is unprocessed, that has chewability, and it's gonna do the work for the muscles. If you, if you have kids eat anything 
you know, that's hard. They will work the muscles if you have them eat macaroni and cheese and hamburgers every day. This is almost liquid food. Even smoothies that have very good nutrition in them, they are bypassing the chewing. So we got to teach kids how to chew in a very traditional way. Chew 20 times or 30 times until the food is completely liquid. Then the muscles are doing the work. So those muscles that are used to working are also going to guide the growth of the jaws. And as the jaws grow, these are forward on the techniques, they go forward, the airway will maintain itself, enlarge itself, and maintain them healthy. It's hard to recognize that these seemingly minor everyday activities can have such profound effects, but they can. The backbone of good oral posture is really understanding how we can impact these patients to change their life so that they have habits, that they live in an environment that's going to be conducive to growing their jaws properly. The forward dentix treatment will change your life. We will teach you how to breathe properly, how to strengthen your muscles for optimal posture so you can grow, feel, look and breathe better.